today show ring around the rosy it's a visit with a person of high strangeness oh we're eating a trolley you want some i had some she had some my guest uh -huh. rosy michael uh, good yep. Rosie came uh, from North Dakota to come help us with the predictions. I probably mm -hmm. have chocolate everywhere. Do I? No, no you're I'm fine. Okay. You're fine. One of the things we wanted to do today is uh, talk about you a little bit. About me? Okay. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I'm still smoking my electronic. Cigarettes. <laughs> so I don't irritate that you are a non smoker. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Okay. We killed this whole jar of Nutella, didn't we? That's good. It's yeah. so good, it's yeah. It's so good. Uh, we grew up on this, no? Yeah. Then it took 30 years, 40 years to come to America. Exactly. Costco's. Huh? And now we got the big glass. We got the big. You're going to take yeah. some home, right? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Sure. That's the best thing. Because there are hazelnuts in there. I never like peanut butter because it sticks to the top of your gums. Yeah. Huh? And it is so I don't know. I like that taste better. It's not too sweet. It's just right. That's right. That's right. Uh peanut butter we you to you much younger than I am. Yeah. But after the war we got rations from the Americans. Mm -hmm. Was peanut butter and butter and cheese so, yeah. Yeah, we make no mistake we appreciate it mm -hmm. but i hated peanut butter because it got stuck in my mouth yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it gets stuck and you can't get it down so yeah. so so when when you were small do you still remember the american rations mm, no. no no okay mm. that's how young she is anyway 25 I was in Germany for about three or four years uh, at one point, and so I remember that. No, Rosie, yeah. uh, you came to help me mm -hmm. uh, film the predictions. Yep. Okay. And uh, kind of, my friend Kana Shibshan is not available, and my other friend is doesn't live here anymore, so. Mm -hmm. um, and after we filmed the predictions, uh, we talked about the differences in what we do. Yeah. So uh, what do you do? Well, everybody what has psychic abilities does something else and uh, does it a different way. Lil can do with the tarot cards. Tarot cards. She's <laughs> learning. And I can't do that. I don't see anything. Um, I don't see anything either. No. <laughs> I get my... Um, messages I get them from angels spirits and it's kind of like um, like you have your eyes open but like a, a movie rolls in front of your head and they're telling you things I, I cannot really explain it um, the information what I get I do automatic writing uh -huh. so I know that that um, for me that's the easiest way then I know where I came from uh -huh. you know? Of what I'm doing and just you do it with the tarot uh, yeah uh, automatic writing yeah, automatic uh, writing. can you explain what that is uh, automatic writing is um, I'm just a me messenger between the spirit world and here so the information what I'm getting I write them down and they are always the handwriting is always different it depends on who comes to you uh -huh. You know, and you, you saw that on the paper that, that it changed. Um, most of the time I cannot read that anymore, what I wrote. Uh -huh. So I have to tell it, have to say it out loud that somebody else knows what I'm talking about. So Because it doesn't come from me. It just comes out of my mouth. You know what? Um, we got a little, uh, we taped some of uh, this. Yeah. the other night yeah we're gonna give you a little clip of this so you see mm -hmm. what that's like good yeah but we can just put a mm -hmm. little piece of that in yeah. there huh yeah that would be a good idea yeah 
and sometimes um, my face changed too. Uh -huh. You know, I, I think you saw that. It's it's kind of like something is laying over it. So that's what I what's called. I'm a medium. Yeah, I'm a medium. Yeah. It did, at, at one at one point you worked uh, on cold cases I and did things. Cold cases. I did uh, murdered or missed people, and uh, I got the information from the what is it criminal bureau of investigation. Uh huh. They they sent you a folder with maybe twenty cases, and you just I go by the name and I look at the picture. Some some psychics have something what they have to touch to find out what happens to the person. I go by the name and I ask the spirits, can you show me? And uh -huh. uh, if the person is dead, then they they come directly to me and show me what happened. And uh, then, then I can I can tell what happened to them and if they are alive or not. If they are missed people, I get the information from a passed on from their family or friend. They're telling me. How oh, cool. So and that that depends if they want to be found or not. It's just every, every case is different. Okay. Yeah. yeah every case you is know. Uh, we had a, uh, I'm not going into names here, but mm -hmm. we had a missing person here, and of course I was a little close to the situation. So I called you, mm -hmm. and you kind of told me where to look. Well, we have 16 places that look like that. Yeah. Uh, you know, you hadn't been here. And so, but, so we split up and looked, you know, what you had described there, mm -hmm. and um, but then at one point, uh, as I'm looking, something changed. I thought I had seen another person, uh, a relative of this person. And so, to, uh, actually there was a barbecue and so I got out and, uh, and asked for that person, um, for the relative. And they said, well, we don't know anybody like that. And I said, but I just saw him here. Mm -hmm. And they said, no, in fact, they, they wasn't very nice. They got a little bent out of shape. <laughs> They explained to me that they had a um, it was a private party, but then I followed the relative's energy, mm -hmm. and you had said the person we would find the person before dark. Mm -hmm. Well, unknown to me, the relative that event I thought that I saw and and followed, and to me he was real at that time. Um, yeah. He was supposed to be out of town, and then at the last minute came back early and ended up where the missing person was. So he didn't even know she was missing. Mm -hmm. And I was within three blocks of that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, a, it's like a puzzle. It's a puzzle. It's a puzzle. Yeah. yeah. So so when when people call and they say, well, I can't find this and I can't find that, uh, and you want to get it so detailed that mm -hmm. um, you, you just can't do it, and people get frustrated. Mm -hmm. and, and when you say, um, well, okay, uh, look, um, there's a bookcase there. Can you look to the right? Well, I already looked there. Yeah. You, you know, and yeah. then their frustration mm -hmm. spills over to me. Mm -hmm. And then if there's uh, 10 phones in the house, I'll find every telephone yeah. before yeah. I get to okay. what I'm looking for. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. happens yeah. to you. Yeah, that's all it is. So yeah. if you want help, don't get frustrated and don't argue about what we're telling you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. A lot of people should listen more, you know. But you have to be very careful. I mean, there are a lot of people out there that try to make money with this. You know, you, you really, and if I have, if I do a reading for somebody, I always tell them, tell me nothing. Yeah, the double blind it's called. Yeah. I, I just yeah. need the name or a picture. Yeah. But I do not want to know, um, this is so and so and it doesn't, doesn't, what, I, I don't need to hear this, you know. It's yeah, that, that's more, why my answering service is mm -hmm. disconnected because mm -hmm. people call me and then they, they tell me their life story and I don't, I don't want to hear that because yeah. it's very hard when we look at something. So they said, oh, well, I left that on her telephone, Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. so I, I don't have an answering service. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and how long have you been doing this? Uh, I'm doing that since 45 years now. 45 years, yeah. 
I started when I was five. That's when my grandpa passed away. Now we know how old she is. Yeah. <laughs> Not 25 times two. And the, aren't these, aren't these cool? <laughs> <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I'm just fascinated with the whole, with the whole thing here. Yeah. Okay. So, so somewhere along the line, we're going to put, I think now is a good time to put mm -hmm. in that little clip, a little clip from, uh, Perfect. no, yes. a reading, no. Oh, the reading. Uh, okay. We didn't cut it close yeah. enough. So this is where we're going to put the clip from what Rosie does. Mm -hmm. And, um, then we'll see you in a, in just a few minutes. Um, that is uh, what it looks like, uh, Rosie, where you have the, what do you call it, where you go upside down, up, up and down? How you called it? The, the oh, the, the, the little signs. Yeah. Um, that's normally when it goes to the right side, that means a yes. When it goes to the, no, sorry, when it goes to the right side, it's a no. When it goes to the left side, it's a yes. Like a, like a pendulum type? Yeah, thing? kind of like. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so, but you write, mm -hmm. it has writing. The, is that the questions that you asked? D they do that, you know, yes, it's kind of like a, a positive that keep going asking. That's their way to do it. Sometimes they make circles, and circles are when they are really excited and and happy. It's it's kind of like pendulum. You are right. Yeah. Well, okay. It's a little hard for me to explain. So, the uh, I forgot what you call it. Like the up and up, up and down. The scribble is like a holding pattern. Mm -hmm. and what? Janet mal, ob sie sich noch an meiner lange Kette erinnert. Sie ist so blöd, sie sagt ja. Yeah, yeah. Some some of my sisters in in passing. Why? 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 Why?